there's so many things that God has placed in you um, that without you here on earth, it wouldn't be the same. Your family wouldn't be the same. You know, God picked your parents. And you know, I had a real struggle with that growing up. I really did. Because I was adopted, I felt that they just got me because they couldn't have their own kids. Or they were just trying to fill up their family. I'm just telling you my immature thoughts as a child. And I felt very, very <coughs> alone. Very lonely. Very down. And I guess you might call it, I didn't call it this back then, depressed, I would say. But there was something inside of me that kept <coughs> moving me forward. There was something inside of me that kept saying, it's going to be okay. Just keep going. And I look back now and I know what that something was. Without a doubt, God had his hand on me. And he was directing my steps, and I had not a clue. You know, God has really been teaching me lately to be aware. I mean, even though I am blonde, and I truly am, and I do help it a lot. <laughs> the purpose you have in life is to impact others for the kingdom of Jesus Christ in whatever way you're supposed to impact the kingdom of God. And you may not think that you're doing anything, but I bet you are. I bet there's things that you're doing right now that are impacting. But I want to tell you, when we are aware, and I'm talking so, are, is your belly still scooped? <laughs> yeah. When we are so aware of engaging our powerhouse, powerhouse in our core, it kind of narrows in our focus <coughs> on, ah, oh, this is the lane. This is the lane God wants me in. I can do these other things too, but really, God wants me right here. He narrows <coughs> in instead of little, 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 all the way out here. He brings it in here. You have to have this <coughs> vertical relationship before you can go out here. Right? 